Hi student, I am P. Rajavel, PG assistant in chemistry. And now this channel only deals with 11th and 12th chemistry subject. So please subscribe, subscribe this channel and like and share it and comment it. So now I am going to discuss the 12th standard chemistry. The, you know very well the first lesson of this 12th standard in chemistry is metallurgy. So it is a very important as well as very simple lesson also. So now we can move to the topic that is metallurgy. First, what is metallurgy? You may ask. So metallurgy is a study of metal. That is extraction of metal from ore and purification of the metal. So first, what is metal? You know very well. The metals are have metal properties of the metal. You know very well. It is more malleable and tactile you know very well lot of metals you know very well copper zinc gold etc first these metals are occurring in the two forms so what are the forms first one is a native state another one is combined state so native states what are the metals are existing in a native state the copper gold silver and platinum these are less reactive metals that's why it does not forming any compound to with the other elements that's why it is a, exist in a native state the native state means it is a single state that is gold means alone gold alone it does not form any complexes so that is a native state another one is a combined state so what is combined state it combine in these some metals occurring as a ore by forming a compound for example zinc aluminium etc are more reactive elements it combining with the other elements such as oxygen sulfur it forming a ore so metals are occurring in a two states one is a native state another one is a combined state okay now we are going to move to the mineral and ore what is mineral and ore so we are getting a mineral by mining which containing a metal in free state as well as combined state simply we can say that the minerals are the source of the metal the minerals are source of the metal so here we can see that bauxite china clay are the minerals of the aluminium okay the next we can move to ore so what is ore so the mineral will become a ore when it gives a more amount of the metal for example the bauxite and china clay are the minerals of the aluminium already i told you that among these two mineral which one is giving more metal will be act as a ore for example bauxite giving a more amount of aluminium than china clay that's why it is act as a ore so ore means the among the mineral which giving a more amount of metal is called ore okay is it clear student the next we are moving to the types of ore so we have a different types of ores based on the nature of the combined state suppose the metal is combined with oxygen means oxide ore suppose the metal is combined with sulfur means sulfide ore the if metal is combined with carbonate carbonate ore as well as sulfate ore and halide ore for example oxide ore hematite you can easily visualize the formula of the hematite is Fe2O3 so from this you can easily understand the metal is combined with oxygen that's why it is named as a oxide ore it is a, this hematite is a ore for iron the next we are moving to copper pyrite the copper pyrite in that sulfur is a combined combined with copper and iron that's why it is named as a sulfide ore it is a ore for copper calamine and anglesite and horn silver respectively carbonate ore sulfate ore and halide ores right 